and a nomad warrior our first test subject all right let's attack it and Hello there guys and gals, welcome back to another Grim Quest gameplay video. <sighs> Grim Quest, this is a gem of a game indeed. And despite me making two gameplay videos showcasing very destructive exploits, well riddle me this, it's still not fixed. <laughs> so in this video, we are gonna be taking it up a notch. Oh yes. Naturally, we are gonna be continuing the overpowered adventures of Keith Mahas. So if you haven't watched the previous video, then I highly recommend that you do so, so you can see how Mr. Has became the richest mofo in the world. But of course, if you're feeling lazy or don't have the time, then here's your friendly neighborhood evil narrator to sum it up for you. Alas, Mr. Has, in his mad lustful tree, has found a loophole in the economic system of Asborn. And with this, he has made everything that he would buy cost nothing, and everything he sold would cost a fortune. But of course, access to infinite quantities of wealth could never satisfy his overpowered nature. His ambitions only grew as his wealth increased. He now seeks power, power without limit. Power enough to make his foes fall with just a mere touch of his fingers. How is he going to achieve this ambition? Let's find out. And this is where our story continues. As you can see, we have 25,000 gold in our pockets. That's over the top high considering we're only level 15. Hell, we haven't even reached the midpoint of the game. We have only defeated two bosses, and yet we're stacked with so much gold. It's insane. So how is this possible? Well, it's possible because of the exploit we did from the previous video. We literally made each and every item from the shop cost nothing as you can see right here. All the items cost zero gold when bought, all the while costing the shop vendor a fortune every time we sell our items. That's one hell of a bargain if I do say so myself. Now what is making the shop prices go stupidly low to the point that everything is basically free? Well. It's because of this lovely council upgrade right here, the Trade Network Council Upgrade. Right now, as you can see, it is at level 20 out of 3. <laughs> yes, math, ladies and gentlemen. So it's at level 20 and it is making sub prices 100% better. Meaning sub prices are made cheaper as well as selling prices are made more expensive. Since it is at 100% better prices, it's effectively giving us a 100% discount on all shop items. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is really, really good. Now that Mr. Has have access to infinite quantities of wealth, he now craves power. Unlimited power to the point that he could just wave his hand in the air at a general direction and anyone caught will just instantly fall and die. I know, a very ambitious dream indeed, but it's not entirely impossible. I'm 100% sure that the developer of the game made it 100% possible and 100% totally intentional. But of course, Mr. Has can't achieve his dream through normal means. So we, ladies and gentlemen, are gonna be helping him make his newfound dreams come true. Oh yes. So how are we gonna do this? Well, you know the overleveling exploit in the previous video? The main reason how we got Trade Network to level 20 even though it has only a maximum of 3 levels. Yes, that one. Well, it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, it works on everything. It doesn't only work on console upgrades, it also works on spells and skills alike. <laughs> Truly, this game is that 100% totally balanced. So let's head on to the guildhouse. And here you can see that we have a variety of skills. Some are passive like Kinai over here, and some are active like Outdoorsman over here. All these skills look juicy, but we don't need this where we're going. Instead, we are only going to need Savage Strength. This bad boy directly increases our base damage by 1 point each level. As you can see, it's currently at level 2 and is giving us a plus 2 increase in damage. 
This, ladies and gentlemen, will be the key in today's video. Oh yes, I can feel it, the power. But we can't level it up further. We first need to reach a certain level before we can upgrade it again. Oh ho ho ho, if only that was true. So how do we bypass this limitation? Well, it's quite easy, ladies and gentlemen. Just follow through. First, we will select an unlearned skill. For example, I selected Pierce Armor here as it is an unlearned skill. Then, at the same time, press the upgrade button and the skill you want to overlevel. In this case, Savage is Strength. You have to press both at the same time. When successful, you'll see that the skill has increased in level when it is not supposed to. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, it begins. But unfortunately, these upgrades aren't free. So before you go ahead attempting this exploit, make sure you have a handful of gold earned up. Luckily for us, we have unlimited access to infinite gold. So if we ever find ourselves looking pretty poor, we can just go to the shop, sell an item, and then buy it back for free. And then boom, there we go. We just made gold appear out of thin air. Sell it again, then buy it back again. And repeat, it's that easy. Okay, so I have been exploiting Savage Strength for some time now, and it's now at level 100. It's insane. <laughs> it is now passively giving us a 100 increase in base damage. That's more than enough damage to one-shot every minion in the entire game. And as an added bonus, I have also overleveled Keen Eye to the point that every attack we do is now a guaranteed critical hit. If that's not over the top insane, then I honestly have no idea what else is. Also, I have forgotten the skill flurry and changed it to cleave over here. Cleave allows us to hit all targets on screen. Combine this with a level 100 savage strength, then you know what happens next. Oh yes. Now, it's time we test this overleveled power in the dungeons. So we're at Glacial Pass and let's find ourselves our first victim. Okay, that was fast. And a Nomad Warrior! Our first test subject. Alright, let's attack it and... Ha 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 ha! 215 damage! Oh my lord! <laughs> what was that? Yeah, yeah, this is balanced. This is 100% totally intentional. <sighs> yeah, let's move on. Oh look, the exit. We're not leaving yet, we still need to find more test subjects. And a manifestation. Boom! <laughs> 184 damage! Yep, this is normal, nothing wrong here. Arcane Horror, and it's dead. Alright, two at a time, and they're dead. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> okay, so I decided to take it up a notch again and move on to overleveling spells. As you can see right now, the buff spell Reaper Scythe is at level 66 and when casted will give us a uh, big number funny stats. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell is this. Holy sh**. That's a lot of digits. <sighs> Goran K, how is this possible? Oh no. <laughs> anyway, time to give this big number funny spell a spin. So into the dungeon we go. Okay, we're in, and of course, let's find ourselves 100% totally willing test subjects. Oh yes. There we go, and three mountain trolls. Just perfect. Alright, let's cast Reaper Scythe, let them have their turn, let them enjoy the final moments of their lives. And then, one shot! Oh, oh wah! What happened? <laughs> Did I die? What the hell happened? Oh! Oh 
Okay! <laughs> that was uh, something. Now we know that Reaper's Scythe is one hell of a broken spell. <laughs> we really broke the game that time. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty sure this is all normal. Yep, nothing wrong here. I think that's enough exploiting for today. Mr. Haas has become so powerful that only he can kill himself due to his own stupidity. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think it's safe to say that this video is a huge success. We have managed to make Mr. Haas the most powerful being in the entire universe. And as a bonus, we have also managed to kill him in the process. <laughs> and that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I had fun making it. Your support is what keeps me going. Have a good day or night and see you guys in the next one.